So you just got into DRG and you love the game, but the menus are a bit overwhelming. Or maybe you're just looking for some guidance on what's generally considered to be the best things to unlock early. Well, I'm here to help. This video is going to guide you through the early game progression of DRG and get you on the fast track to becoming a Greybeard. Let's first talk about what's available to you. Starting with the perks. I remember when I first started playing, I probably played for about 3 or more hours before I even realized that these things existed. To view your perk unlocks, you go to the terminal located in any of the spawn bays. Here you will find the perk tree that looks a bit intimidating at first, but I promise it's really simple. Let me walk you through the UI and how to unlock perks, and then I'll give you my recommendations on what perks to shoot for. The first thing that you need to know is that there are two types of perks. Active perks and passive perks that are colored blue and red respectively. Passive perks require no interaction from the player to work, and active perks are like mini abilities that the player can activate whenever they choose to during a mission. For example, one of my favorite active perks is the dash perk which allows you to double tap the sprint key to get a massive boost of speed which you can use to escape a sticky situation or make a jump that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. So let's talk about how to unlock and upgrade your perks because it's different than unlocking just about anything else in the game. Up here in the top left you can see how many perk points you have available to spend. You gain perk points by completing milestones that you can see in the very same terminal as the perk tree in this milestones tab. It's likely that you've already completed some of these just by playing the game, but now that you know where to find them, you can aim to complete a few that you're close to unlocking just for some easy perk points. Also, don't forget that you need to claim the perk points from the milestones that you've already completed. All you need to do is click on them to claim. Okay, now that you know about perk points and how to get them, let's talk about how progressing through the perk tree works. First off, the tree is split into different tiers that are separated by these arrows seen here. Starting from the left, however many arrows you see here are how many upgrades from the previous tier you need to buy in order to unlock the next tier of the tree. So for example, you need to buy at least 3 upgrades from tier 1 in order to purchase any upgrades in tier 2. Make sense? Good. Next thing to note is that as you progress down the tiers, each unlock is going to cost more and more perk points, but luckily they aren't very hard to obtain, so you'll very likely have enough to buy the things that you want pretty quickly. So what unlocks should you shoot for? Well your top priority should be reaching tier 4, where you can buy this upgrade to unlock an extra passive perk slot. You can unlock a third and final passive perk slot in the final tier, tier 8, as well. The perks that I recommend that you unlock and level up on the way to these goals are Thorns, Resupplier, Born Ready, and Vampire for the passive perks, and Iron Will, Field Medic, Dash, and Beastmaster for the active perks. I recommend that you read the description of all of the perks as there really aren't that many to decide which perks that you want to grab along the way in order to progress through the tiers. I should also mention that you unlock a second active perk slot after promoting your dwarf for the first time. This will give you a total of 3 passive perk slots and 2 active perks once you've unlocked them all. Lastly, you need to go to the equipment terminal to equip your perks once you've unlocked them. These are class dependent so make sure that you equip the ones that you want on each dwarf. And that's all that there really is to know about perks in DRG. Now let's talk about progressing your classes through the early game in DRG. I won't be providing my recommended upgrade path for each gun on every single dwarf because I don't want this video to become 30 minutes long. But as a general rule of thumb, after each mission make sure you check out the equipment terminal to see if any new upgrade slots have become available to you. Then just take a few seconds to read over the options that you have and pick whichever sounds the most helpful to you. One very important thing to mention is that unlocking any upgrade in the equipment terminal will progress this little bar at the bottom of the menu, which comes with special bonuses and unlocks for free. The most important of these unlocks is for the armor rig. With 3, 6, and 9 upgrades purchased, you will gain an extra 5 max HP for a total of 15 max HP for almost free. When you're just getting started with the game, the best thing you can do is make sure you always have an active assignment and that you're always playing the missions for that assignment. Early game assignments are the best way to get resources and unlocks that make your dwarves stronger. Once you've finished your introductory assignments, you should aim to reach level 25 on one of your dwarves so that you can promote him. This is the single biggest moment of progression for a new player. The unlocks for your first promotion include overclocks, deep dives, and the second active perk slot that I mentioned earlier. Don't worry, promoting a dwarf does not reset your progress. You will still have access to all of the unlocks that you've earned. If you want to solely focus on gaining XP to reach this promotion, be sure to look around the mission terminal for a double XP mission. 
This is the best way to gain XP throughout the entire game. Once you reach level 25 on a dwarf, you will get a promotion assignment available to you. This will be a 4 mission long quest that once completed gives you the ability to promote that dwarf. Note that level 25 is the maximum level for a dwarf, so for the duration of this assignment you will not earn any more XP for that dwarf. This means that it's a perfect opportunity to try out some of the other classes so that you don't waste XP during those 4 missions. While you level up your dwarves, you will see new assignments become available to unlock new primaries, secondaries, and grenades. These are fantastic things to shoot for to shake up the gameplay and give you some new toys to play with. If you're struggling to afford a certain upgrade that you want because you lack the minerals for it, you can look to run a mission in an environment that contains that mineral as a primary resource. Each region on the map has a primary mineral and a secondary mineral, where the primary one is more common. You can see which mineral each biome offers by hovering them in the mission select terminal. Back on the topic of promoting, if you didn't know, once you finish your promotion assignment, you need to get into a solo lobby and then run up the path shown on screen to the memorial hall in order to promote. First there is a small payment, yes DRG charges their employees to get promoted, and then you're all set. Now that you're promoted, let's talk about how to obtain sweet, sweet overclocks. To get an overclock, you'll need something called a matrix core. There are a few ways to obtain these. For one, you'll be rewarded with one for promoting a dwarf. Outside of that, you can get one filled and one blank matrix core from completing the weekly core hunt assignment. And finally, you can get another blank and infused matrix core from both the normal and elite deep dives. Infused Matrix Cores will immediately reward you with a random overclock that can be crafted at the forge in the space rig. Blank Matrix Cores work a bit differently however. With Blank Matrix Cores you must find something called a Machine Event in your missions in order to infuse that core with an overclock. Machine Events are timed mini challenges that if completed successfully will let you pick between three random overclock choices. You will see options for cosmetic or weapon overclocks for three random dwarves. I highly recommend prioritizing weapon overclocks until you've unlocked all of them. Matrix cores are a limited resource, so make sure to get in there every week to unlock the ones available to you. And with all that said, you are well on your way to becoming a Greybeard. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. Please make sure to show your support by liking and subscribing for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Rock and stone, miners.